Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday on the 12th, Microsoft rolled out the beta release of Microsoft Edge version 137, which is scheduled to roll out to the stable channel in just over two weeks' time. Now, in 137 beta, Microsoft has actually deprecated a bunch of features currently available in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, currently sitting on version 136. So to some extent or the other, Microsoft is trying to debloat the Edge browser, which I don't think is a bad thing. Now, according to Microsoft, here's what's been removed. It says the following Microsoft Edge features are being deprecated and are scheduled for removal by mid to late May. So it seems that these features will be deprecated gradually using a controlled phased approach. The first one to go is the image editor. Now the image editor is if I right click on an image, edit image, Microsoft is deprecating the image editor. Now I must be honest, I don't think I've ever used the image editor in Microsoft Edge. So I don't think I would miss that. But if you are just putting it out there. So image editor is the first feature to be deprecated. Then the next is image hovers. Now image hovers, in case you're unaware, basically it allows you to explore related content by searching the web for similar images. I don't think I've also ever used this feature in Microsoft Edge. So just to show you where you can actually turn the feature on is if we head to our settings, head to appearance, and we go to context menus. Show hover menu on image hover. As far as I'm aware, this is turned off by default in the browser. So it didn't seem to be a popular feature. So that's the next one to go, image hover. Now the next feature to go, number three, is the mini menu. So if I just highlight some text, that's the mini menu. That's going. So it seems that you might have to right click and get the full menu. So mini menu is also being deprecated. And the fourth feature to be deprecated is video super resolution. Now video super resolution, in case we're unaware, uses machine learning to enhance the quality of video viewed in the browser. So you can get crisper and clearer videos according to Microsoft. Now video super resolution is only offered under some certain conditions. You have to have NVIDIA RTX 2030 40 series or AMD RX 5700 to 7800 series GPUs. The video is played at less than 720p resolution. The device is not on battery power. And there's a couple of other little extra um, conditions there. So I think the minority, not the majority, was really using video super resolution. So that could be a reason why Microsoft is deprecating it. Feature number five is the Wallet Hub. So if we click on Wallet, that takes you over to Microsoft Wallet. And Microsoft says there are a couple of changes coming to Wallet in Edge where Wallet is being phased out to support what Microsoft is calling a streamlined experience within the actual browser. Now, Microsoft also mentions that in the next version, 137, the wallet entry in settings will be removed and a new entry will be added for passwords, personal information, payment management functions. Now, I'm not too sure, they don't stipulate, but I'm not too sure if Microsoft is intending that this section will be removed from the profile menu or if we head into the actual settings profiles that this section will be removed and replaced by passwords, personal information, payment management fun functions. So we'll have to just check that out when that rolls out. But nonetheless, there's, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six features that have been deprecated in version 137. As Microsoft says, that deprecation will take place over time. I don't think it's all going to happen at the get-go, but I must be honest, 
none of those features are actually used in Microsoft Edge. So for me, so for me, I won't miss them or it won't be a so-called loss. And if you were using some of those features, I'm sure there'll be some third-party alternatives that you can find. But I'm always in favor of Microsoft Edge being debloated, although you can debloat the browser and I've posted a whole video on that how to debloat and speed up Microsoft Edge and I'll leave that video linked somewhere in the end screen and down below in the description. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.